So a little bit about me on this video before we get started. I am from San Antonio, Texas, and I used to be a really big basketball fan. Now I would say I am a Spurs fan first and foremost before basketball in general. So I do love the San Antonio Spurs and I have loved them since their traditional colors of blue, pink, and orange. Love those colors and it is perfect for the makeup look that we are doing. This is inspired by the thought of Fiesta right around the corner, basketball season as well. And if you don't know, San Antonio loves to party, so Fiesta is a celebration of sorts, a market, a gathering, music, food, drinks, and uh, it, our Fiesta here in San Antonio is represent representing the whole Battle of the Alamo, kind of winning uh, Texas's independence, sort of speak, uh, but really, let's just be honest, it's an excuse for San Antonio natives to Party. So this is going to be a fun look, a kind of style of look that I would do going to Fiesta and I just wanted to share it with y'all as well as cheering on my San Antonio Spurs so it's a great way of supporting my team, having fun, and having a look for Fiesta. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, you might be wondering what the heck is going on here. Well, this video was a complete disaster from beginning to end. I had so many hiccups, but you know what? I am not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional, and I want to make that very clear on my channel and show that my first idea was a complete flop. I did not like it at all, so I started over, and then at that point, my lighting went out, my camera died, everything happened, so many distractions, so basically, I'm doing my face like normal with the primer, foundation, um, doing some setting powder, some bronzer, kind of a little bit of contour. I'm going to link all of the products that I use, the names and the colors in the description box below for your convenience. So if you're interested in knowing exactly what anything is, you can go ahead and just view that. I did use only Revolution eyeshadow palettes, so I use two different palettes, and that is also another thing that really inspired this look was the colorful Revolutions palette that I found. I just love the colors and I wanted to do something fun. So here I just started blending out the orange, pink, and blue, and I used fluffy brushes for each of them to kind of get the majority of the product on and the placement of where I want all the colors to go. And then, of course, a little bit of cleanup right there, so just wipe that away. After this, then I go in with smaller brushes, let it dry just for a second, and then go back in with the color so that I can build up the color, make it all a little brighter, a little bit more vibrant. And I do apologize about my lighting. I've been playing around with a lot of different lighting. I'm trying to find the best color to really show what I'm doing, to show the true colors. And hopefully it gets better as we go on. But again, and I do use small brushes because I don't really want to blend the pink and the blue too much together because I don't want to get a purple color. So I'm trying very carefully to blend it but without really combining the two colors and then I'm dragging the color along the bottom which I feel like spraying your brush is very important for this part because if not you will get a lot of fallout around and uh, you can see that the Revolutions palette the colors are gorgeous they go on great but they do tend to have a little bit more fallout so this is an easy fix for that. After this I'll be going in with my mascara and my eyeliner, but I do curl my eyelashes and put mascara on off camera. I think that's kind of just basic for everyone. And then I'll just show a little bit here how I'm using this liquid liner to make a wing. And the Spurs look does have some white in them if they're home game, and then black of course is away. So I use that white liner on my bottom waterline and follow up with some black lipstick. This is a creamy lipstick from ColourPop and then on top of that I want a silver shine which is a Jeffree Star liquid lip. Again products will be listed in the description. Now I want to enhance my contour so I do go back in over that to just make that a little bit darker. Also I'm looking and I feel like there's just not enough black or pop 
so I decided to take a different Revolutions palette that has a black in there and I go in on the bottom eyelid. Of course, we need some highlight. So, Jeffree Star highlight here. This is a silver color. Very beautiful, very strong and sharp. So, I decide to kind of get carried away with it and just throw this highlighter all over my face because at this point, it just makes me feel better about how long this process has been. And basically, we are done except for one little thing, but then my camera dies, so... So I decided to add a beauty mark, a little spur right here to kind of just give it that extra little glam and I think that finally completes the look. So thank you all so much for watching, I do appreciate it. A quick glimpse of what the original look looked like. Thank you all so much for watching.